Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm Osric Vox, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. It's almost been a full month since Change Your Mind aired on television. A full month since we've been introduced to new fusions, new forms for the gems, and the start of a new beginning. However, when exactly are we going to dig into that new beginning? I know, I know, hiatus and Steven Universe always go hand in hand. But today we're going to figure out just when the show will return. At the very least, by the end of this episode, you will know the date of the Steven Universe movie, I hope. So let's just jump in. First, we need to look at the production of Steven Universe, as that will be crucial in figuring out just when the show will return and what to expect next. As you guys may remember, there was a lengthy production hiatus in 2017 that began in the summer and seemed to conclude late into the fall. This production hiatus may line up with the television hiatus that we had, both lasting around six months. Now this production hiatus began after initial production to change your mind wrapped up. The storyboarding, voice acting, animatics, etc. Everything before being shipped off to seas. Now judging by everything we know, it seems as if the Steven Universe movie was the very next thing the crew to first put into production. Production. Now, Rebecca Sugar has stated herself that she's been working on the movie and the show at the same time, and that she stopped cutting her hair when she began the movie, which leads me to believe the people who are working on the movie and the people who are working on the show are two completely different teams, as they're two completely different projects. So just because the movie went into production before season six may have, does not mean that the movie will be the very next thing to be released. However, that is a strong possibility. Now, before I continue, you, I just want to flesh out my previous thought a little bit more. There are people who were hired for Steven Universe to work on the movie exclusively, and when they wrapped up production on the movie, they moved on to something else. They didn't necessarily join the Cruderverse full time. Now, why did this exactly happen? Now, I don't work at Cartoon Network. I don't have any deep connections at Cartoon Network. This is all conjecture, but the main thing is, Steven Universe began airing on television in 2013, but it was in production since 2012. So from 2012 to 2013, 2017, the crew universe was non-stop at work, constantly working on episodes, constantly delivering finished episodes, constantly planning what's next. So make no mistake, when you work that hard for half a decade, planned hiatuses do become a thing. Just so everyone on the crew, especially the executive producers and the showrunner, Rebecca Sugar, can just have a little time to regroup, unwind, and de-stress. Because I'm sure running a show is a tasking responsibility. Not to mentioned they more than likely knew that when they came back, they would have to manage both the main crew universe, who's working on the show, season 6 and beyond, and the movie, the people who were hired just for that property. Now just because the show went on a production hiatus, it doesn't necessarily mean everyone working the show took a break, because you still need to pay the bills. They live out in Burbank, California, it's not cheap even with the money they make, which, when you're an adult and have a lot of taxes and bills to pay, and again, you live in California? It it may seem like much, but that's extremely relative to your age and your location. So during the hiatus, you may have noticed Cruniverse members temporarily working on other shows. I recall seeing a Craig of the Creek episode storyboarded by someone who was on the Cruniverse, assumably because the show was on hiatus. So said storyboarder worked on Craig of the Creek for a hot second. Now I know this is a bit more common over at Disney, just because they tend to have longer hiatuses between seasons, whereas Cartoon Network goes from season to season to season. Disney has more of a habit to wait before they renew their shows, and thus wait a bit before beginning production. So you may notice that Disney storyboarders tend to have more credits on multiple shows. I'm starting to get a little bit off track here, but the point is, if your main storyboarders are working on other shows, you can't exactly begin production on a new season. So let's just spitball here and say that the likely scenario was that the movie began production, storyboarding and all, in the fall of 2017. And then in the beginning of 2018, after the holiday day break when we were watching CV Universe Stranded and eventually a Singapore Rose, all those wonderful episodes, that's when I believe they could have began working on season 6, either in the pre-planning stages or going all in. But again, this is just speculation and conjecture. I do not know the exact dates of when things began production, but again, the pieces are out there to get a general idea. Okay, so the movie went to production and then season 6 might have shortly after. When will the movie premiere? Well, great question. At the end of change your mind, all it specified was that the movie would be coming this fall. But that doesn't necessarily mean as soon as fall begins, bam, we have the movie. But it also doesn't mean it'll come any time during the fall. This is how we can pinpoint 
showing an exact date the movie will premiere. You guys may have noticed, but Cartoon Network prefers to do premieres of shows, either a brand new special or a television movie, on holidays. This is due to more students, and thus more potential viewers, being out of school on the day of premiere. Thus, they're more inclined to not do any homework, they have the entire day to do whatever they want, and they're more likely to be drawn to watch a brand new special on television. So when's the earliest the movie could premiere? Well, although fall officially begins towards the end of September, if you want to go by the fall television season, then they could start a little bit early and premiere the movie on Monday, September 2nd, aka Labor Day. Now for a lot of people, this is considered the final day of summer, but I think a lot of people associate going back to school with the beginning of fall. Yeah, seasonal wise, it's technically summer, but come on, who goes to school on September 3rd thinking, oh my god, it's still summer. No, summer's over, and a lot of students actually go back to school during August, so fall to them comes even sooner. Either way, Cartoon Network has had specials air on Labor Day before, so regardless of all technicalities, this is a potential day. But what if it isn't? Alright, that takes us to October, meaning the movie could be 8 months away, but on Monday, October 14th, we have Columbus Day. Now I don't recall if schools have this day off, it is a federal holiday, so it is absolutely possible, and it's after fall has officially began, so this could honestly be the most likely candidate, and the only rebuttal I can truly think of is that October could be reserved for Halloween specials, but in recent years that has not been Cartoon Network's motto. October has just become really another month for premieres, and they usually dedicate one Monday out of the week, usually the Monday closest to Halloween, to air brand new Halloween specials of their favorite shows, but usually they dump it on their app in the beginning of October anyways. So yes, October 14th, Columbus Day, this is also looking like a good one. And finally, we have Monday, November 11th, 2019. Veterans Day. This is our third candidate for when the movie will air. It is another federal holiday, and this one is close to the anniversary of Steven Universe, which was November 4th, 2013. Which, now that I think about it, is also a Monday, so hey, that could be a fourth possible date. Although schools don't really give time off because Steven Universe is another year old. But hey, for something as special as a movie, the anniversary would be a good date, but it does not guarantee the most viewers, the most buzz, the chance of it to be the most talked about thing on social media for that day. Because again, kids won't be out of school, people won't have time off of work, and television networks are a business. Although ratings don't matter as much as they used to, they still matter. They still make a difference. That's why Change Your Mind aired on Monday, January 21st, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Now a reasonable question is, why a Monday? Well, aside from being national holidays, Mondays have become Cartoon Network's prime slot for premiering new episodes of their shows. Now there are a few exceptions, I know Total Drama Rama and some of their other shows like Powerpuff Girls and recently OKKO OK have had Sunday premieres, but usually for their big events, they go for Monday. Fridays around 2 years ago also became a spot for premiering new episodes and specials, but you guys may have noticed they ceased to do that, and if you were subscribed to this channel around the time, you may remember it's because they were having very low ratings at the time, at least low for that period. Yeah, it's kind of gotten worse since then, but it's not necessarily Cartoon Network's fault, cable is dying across the board, and for a network like Cartoon Network, I don't see a grown adult keeping their cable package because their child wants to watch one particular channel. Granted, I know a child does watch Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, etc, but you get the idea. It's out of their main demographics hands. Alright, that's the movie. The movie could be the next thing we get solely because of a story reason. Not that I'm saying the movie is going to be integral to the story of the show, but again, Big picture. Recently, I've been talking about the prospect of a time skip. This movie could be our introduction to the time skip. Let's say season 6 picks up a year or two after season 5. Well, the movie could pick up 6 months to a year after the event to change your mind, but still take place before season 6. Thus, it would be confusing to premiere episodes of season 6 before the movie. Or Steven could awaken some kind of new power, one that may be predominantly featured in upcoming seasons. So, again, they can't premiere any episodes until they premiere the movie, but this is a huge risk and I think Cartoon Network knows that. Again, fall means that at the most, we're going to have an 8 month hiatus, anything more, a 9 month hiatus, and the later the movie premieres, the more season 6 would be far from our air screens. I think if the movie premiered in September or October, yeah, there's a chance we can go into new episodes shortly after, but let's say it premieres in November, well, we know November, December is usually a dead zone for premieres, which means we may not see season 6 until 2020. 
funny. I imagine January, but at the same time, they're still working on episodes every single day. As I said before, if you look on social media every Wednesday, they record episodes every single week. So all this would ensure is a consistent run of episodes, which that may be Cartner's idea. That all right, we have changed your mind on. What's coming next is said to be a brand new show, so let's try to air this show consistently. But when will we know for sure? When will we know when Steven Universe Season 6 will come to our television screens or our phone screens, our computer screens? Well, we actually know when to expect an announcement. And we'll get said announcement in a few weeks. March. Cartoon Network always has their upfront in March. Their upfront is where they announce a slate of brand new shows. And we've been trying our best to cover that upfront for the last two years. And this year will be no exception. They always list out the shows they're working on and and when to expect them. So for Steve Universe, we'll know for sure if one, the show will rebrand, a la something like Benton Alien Force, and two, which quarter of the year it'll premiere. So what'll happen is in their press release, they'll have all their shows, their specials, their movies, and give a blurb from them. Such and such is returning for brand new episodes and a synopsis of the show. Last year's how we found out there'll be three arcs in 2018. So I imagine this year we'll get something like Steve Universe, possible subtitle, Steven and the Crystal Gems return for all new adventures, and then it will conclude with something along the lines of new episodes begin this spring or this summer or this fall. Or they may say new episodes start next year. Going off regular show in 2015, oh my god, that was almost four years ago. I recall both of the renewal and its movie being included in the press release. So while there's a chance it could focus on just the movie, I think we're going to get both the show and the movie. Now, Cartoon Network isn't completely out of their minds, or if they just simply have enough episodes ready, because that will be the biggest factor season six could premiere around the summertime. You know, we have another six month hiatus and we don't have to hold out into the fall. But again, we won't know for about two, three more weeks as their upfronts tend to be in the beginning of March. Other networks are beginning to have theirs. Nickelodeon recently had theirs. I believe Disney is next and then I believe Cartoon Network may be last. That feels like the right pattern. In the meantime, what does Cartoon Network plan to do? And by proxy, what do you as a Steve Universe fan have to consume? Well, if you like Steve Universe, and it's because of the characters, the overarching story, the representation of different walks of life. You may be searching for similar consumption. And nothing right now in Cartoon Network really has that. There's OKKO, OK but that's also on a hiatus. It's criminally underrated. And because the show kind of took a while to dig into an overarching story, a lot of fans of the universe unfortunately may not have interest in it. But Cartoon Network has two new shows that are advertised to be story heavy right out the gate. Infinity Train and Victor and Valentino, both shows that were confirmed to air this year. Both shows seem to have, hopefully, a few episodes ready and more as the months go by. So if you're a fan of story-driven shows with interesting characters and mysteries, these two shows are for you. And I believe these two shows are what Cartoon Network are going to push in the void of Steven Universe until the show returns, especially Infinity Train, as Cartoon Network has used the overarching story to its advantage. After all, it seems to be Cartoon Network's most popular pilot ever, which is insane. They've already promoted things like what do the numbers mean, the first number on Tulip's hand, and that the entire story of the show is already planned out. Things that Steven Universe fans will look to and go, oh, really? We talking arcs? So there you have it. When will Steven Universe return? Our most concrete answer for now, unfortunately, is the fall, but in two to three weeks, we will know when the main show itself, and not just the franchise, will make its triumphant return. And I'm excited to cover that and everything else that comes out of the upfront. But what do you guys think? What are you going to do during the Steven Universe hiatus? As always, the roundtable has you covered. We still have plenty of Steven Universe content to talk about, and I'm sure there will be even more snippets it's on the way. Trust me, we have so many things we haven't even began to touch on. Things that indicate potential plot lines for future seasons. Drop your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at Roundtable Vids. And for my own hot takes, you can find me at Vox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us on Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please start a like and subscribe to the Roundtable so you never miss any great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Vox out.